Hey everyone, this is Dan from the Blair Watch Project. Um, I want to thank you for tuning in to a little unboxing and uh, Seiko haul video. These are watches that I receive from a from a friend who often hits me up with uh, his uh, his findings around the around the world, and he uh, he sends them to me, and I uh, try and do restorations and put them as available watches on my website. Um, a lot of these watches will will get restored and will get sold, so if you're interested in, in any of them and you want to try and reserve one, you just have to let me know. Um, and I want to thank you if you've uh, tuned in for the first time. Uh, I really appreciate it. If, you, uh, if you're interested in, in vintage Seikos, this is, this is a good channel for you. I like to um, put my customer restorations and my you know, sort of fun, fun little segments like this online. So thanks again. I appreciate you watching. So let's get to it. Let's get this unboxed and see what I have gotten today. All right. Let's go ahead and have a good look. Very cool. Okay, what's first? Let's uh, let's do glasses before we do VHS tapes. <laughs> let's open this one up. See what we've got. Now, none of these watches have been evaluated by me yet, so you get to see what I get to see. Set some of these aside. Some familiar faces, I think. Alright, let's get this one opened up. Alright. Okay. Well, 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 well. Quite a collection. There should be nine here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good. Nine. All right. Should we just flip them over? Let's do it. One, two, three, four. Excellent. Okay. Well, give me a moment and we'll get these all unpackaged and have a look. Let's do it. Okay. So, let's just get them unboxed and laid out. There's a blue pogue and a yellow pogue. Mm, cool. Another panda. All right, a pair of pandas. A pair of pogues. Those are looking good. What else we got? We got a jumbo in here. Six one three eight jumbo. Here's a mini jumbo. Just the speedy. 6139 Speedy. Got kind of an oddball of the group, non chronograph. That is 
rally timer, or rally diver, I should say. And then we have a couple of nerd watches. <laughs> That's what I like to call them because I know how to use them. We got two calculators. Seiko slide rules. Oh, got a big scratch on that crystal, but that's okay. Wow, what a group. All right, let's zoom in a little bit. Let's see what we can find here. Where should we start? Where should we start? Um, well, I think maybe we start right and go left. What do you say? Let's have a look right to left. Okay. Let's look at your... Let's look at this blue poke first. Let's have a good, good close look. Alright, so this one is a 1977. Whoa! Oh, that's neat! A 77 with a horseshoe back. 6139 6002. It's got a bit of an odd crystal on it. Domed, highly domed <laughs> glass crystal. Don't see that very often. That's a neat one. Uh, everything is there and functional. Loom is clean. Boy, that's a nice little watch. Nice long bracelet on it. 1977. 6139-6002. Oh, that's a pretty one. All right, well, that one's gonna, that one's a good one. Let's go to the next 6139. All right, this is a 1974. 6139-6002. Also horseshoe back. Definitely, definitely been worn. Oh, it's got a little trouble with the crown here, but you know, we'll get to the bottom of that. Maybe it's lacking a spring or a gear. Hopefully it's just that. I think the crown might be a replacement as well, but you know, tacky ring is a little worse for wear. Looks like it's somebody's tried to repair it a little bit a long time ago. May need to locate another one of those. I have one. I might be able to put on this from the same era. But definitely an unserviced watch. I don't think it's seen much in terms of use or abuse. It's a nice looking watch. That's a really clean dial. Hands need a little bit of cleanup, but otherwise not so bad. Okay, on a bracelet, not too shabby. All right, let's do the next and last 6139. This is sort of a petrol dial. I think it is a petrol dial. 6139-7070. This is from December of 76. Another late one with a horseshoe back. That's interesting. Um, it's a complete watch. It definitely has a non-standard crystal. But these are hard to find. These crystals are, are not easy. Um, but it's complete. It's all there. No, oh, that's good. Everything resets. Hands are okay. Yeah, that'll make somebody happy, I think. That's a good little watch. All right, put that over here. All right, where do we want to go next? What do you say we do its bigger brother, <laughs> the Jumbo? The 6138, this is a 3002 from December of 74. Again, another clean watch. These have a really interesting brushing. They have a vertical brushing on the side, which is surrounded by high polish areas around it, and then um, north to south brushing right on the tops so on the lugs, which is a neat look. These came with a couple different kinds of crystal designs, whether they were a uh, all, uh, all in one crystal that presses into the case, or whether they had a, a removable bezel, just depended on the, on the uh, how it's denoted uh, in the in the model, whether it's a 3000 or a 3002 or a 3005, 3009. 
it would just depend it on that. But uh, oh, that's that's a good looking watch. Very cool. These are nice. It's just such a simple, beautiful design. It's got these delicate hands on this big face. Big, big dial. What a nice watch. Okay, where to next? Hmm. Let's look at the oddball. <laughs> Such a crazy design. All right, well, this is one of those ones where you kind of have to look beyond the beyond the crystal and beyond the case condition a little bit. You know, it's a little rough, but it's not a bad looking watch. This is cool. This is a, oh, that's interesting. So it's a 69, 6106, 8229, which is the Rally Diver. But it has a 69 um, resist back and resist dial. That's pretty early as a resist. So that's really early, in fact. So that's, wow. That's, that's really interesting. I don't think they made these in 79, that's for sure. So it's definitely a 69. Oh. That's cool. April 69 resist. I have not seen an, a resist text that early. It's cool. Okay. That's fun. Weird, but fun. All right. Where are we going next? We're going to go pandas. Got a pair of pandas. They're always fun. Let's look at a pair of pandas. Okay. So a couple things. We got couple really nice looking watches here yeah this one's really good I'll put this one down for just a second all right full bracelet proper end links this is a birth watch for me uh, 873 so August 73 watch it's a 6138 8020 which is of course the panda good looking dial great hands original loom it's a little dusty, but you know, that's okay. It's a very complete original watch. Well, that's a good one. All right. Well, I like that. How can you go wrong with a panda? You just can't. Okay, let's put you over here. There we go. I can see you. And this one, another full bracelet. It's a little bit later, so this one is, oh, look at that, the 89th Panda produced in March of 1974. How cool. This one has that sort of Panda patina that you get from um, direct sunlight or some other form of, of uh, you know, time in the sun. It's subtle, though. It's subtle. It's just around the the center so you know this one th these don't you know they don't bring the big money if they've got anything with the dial that needs needs to be explained um, but you know so if you're looking for one that's probably a bit discounted one with a little bit of a dial imperfection is probably all right in that way wow it's a nice watch nice bracelet couple links on each side that's good that'll be a fun one for somebody okay now for the biggies these two guys holy mackerel they are they are solid solid wrist wrist action <laughs> well we've got two different conditions here we've got one that's pretty pretty darn good I mean not too many flaws on this one that I can see on the right on the left you know it's a watch that got worn which is kind of amazing it looks like somebody's been in there trying to kind of trying to shore up the loom a little bit but uh, you know this one you know it's got a couple little couple little things to keep in mind but the the actual uh, case and the and the turning ring those are really good. It's had, it's had a little bit of loss of loom, um, which may mean we just reloom the dial. Uh, but the hands are good. This one too has had a little loss of loom. It needs a crystal. They both need turning uh, cursors, but I have those. Really fun. Really fun. 
very nice. The brushing on this one is very complete. So this is a 1974 6138 7000, which is of course the slide rule calculator. Um, nice watch. This is a good one. The case in this is very nice. Bracelet is correct. Pretty long. Got the right pushers on the ends there. Very cool watch. Definitely needs a little bit of love on, on the loom, but otherwise, you know, a good clean watch. A good one. I like it. This one, uh, it, you know, this one's got some, got some love scars, um, but again, a good clean watch. This is a 1974, again, a July 74, 7000. But, you know, you don't find them very often. And a lot of times these have been faked. Um, that's certainly original. It's got its wear, especially up here towards the top. Um, but, you know, it goes in that sort of UFO jumbo category. You can tell, you know, this the size on these are just <laughs> immense. It's got a fairly small uh, dial and a fairly small uh, crystal by comparison, but that that turning outer ring, the CD scale on the slide rule are, are definitely, definitely have a presence. Um, all right, well, that is the haul. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you're interested in some of these watches, you know, they're here. I hope to have some time to work on them. Uh, there's a couple that are just really, really nice. I like, I like a few of these really well. Um, but thanks again for watching and uh, See you on the next video. Okay, folks, uh, I promised bonus material, bonus feature. <laughs> Here are the bonus watches. I just got another another group in, and they are pretty dandy, I have to say. All right, we're gonna we're gonna flip these over. We're gonna we're gonna hold off on this one. That's special. All right, here we go. All right, what do we have here? We have, mm. yeah, Bruce Lee, on original bracelet. We got a Pogue, very good. And, <laughs> and a nice, nice, shiny panda. Oh, that's that's very cool. Let's uh, let's zoom down on this and see if we can make this a little bit brighter here. Okay. Well, what do we have? Let's take a look at this beauty on the bracelet. So this is a 1972. This is a 6139, 6012, I believe. Yep. On original bracelet. It's not the longest bracelet. It's got an extension, but you know what? That's okay. I love these sort of bear claw style bracelets. It's the, I'd call it the subway because it's got the third rail. It's not the railroad. It's the subway. <laughs> subway bracelet. Let's call it that. All right. So this one is, you know, if you're looking for, if you're looking for a watch, this is how I recommend you try and find them. Certainly very clean loom. It's even got some interesting patination on the on the dial loom. It's gotten a little bit of that buttery yellow. The hand loom is nice and white. Um, you know, it's all it's all there. Very nice original crystal. You know, you got to look past those crystals. You got to look and see how everything looks. And I think I'd say this one looks fantastic. So subway bracelet. Bruce Lee. Resist. Resist. Nice watch. Okay. We got another Pogue style. This is a horseshoe back. Uh, November 72, 6139-6002. Resist. Uh, the dial has some damage. The hands are good. They don't look like they've been messed around with. The um, sub dial, or the sub hand is not correct, so I'll have to source one of those. They still are available. There's a few out there. 
if you know where to look. Tacky ring is nice on this one. It's in good shape. No real dings or dents. Got a couple of minor scratches there, but uh, the crown is not doing its job. In fact, that one might be coming apart. All right, so we'll have to take a close look at that one. But, you know, these come in as projects, and that's okay. I'm happy with that. All right. Penultimate is a... 1977 8020 Panda looks like somebody buffed the case a little bit I wouldn't call it you know over polished but certainly a little bit of a little bit of cleanup here on the case nice dial and hands it's really pretty this is one of those ones that has that later style subtle linen that almost looks pearlescent instead of really striations. You know, usually the linening runs north to south on these uh, and has a fairly strong set of ridges. But these are, are matted almost and they have that that sort of opalescence that, to them that you just really hard to describe. The, the recent one that I sold, a, um, an 8021, it had that opalescence as well. And that was a later dial. So I think there's really two styles of dials um, that come on these, but this is a, it's a really pretty watch. This is gonna make somebody very, very happy, I think. That's a good one. Okay, now, <laughs> I don't get too many divers in these halls, but you know what? I got this one. I got this one, the one you've been waiting for. Oh, oh my, look at that. What a stunner. 1967, 6217-8001. The dolphin on the back, 62 Moss. Beautiful, beautiful watch. Wow, original crystal. It's got some checking in it, but I don't even care. <laughs> I don't care. It's that good. Look at that watch. Oh my God, the dial. This has that anthracite gray with the sunburst. Man, what a thing this is. Holy moly. What a beautiful, beautiful watch. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to get this one right. Perfect. You got one little dink. Otherwise, the case is just spectacular. These things are machine grooved. It's not just, it's almost as though it's, it was on a lathe. It looks like a, looks like an LP. <laughs> It looks like it could go right on your record player and you could play a song. An ode to Seiko. Beautiful watch. All right, folks. Well, that's the end. That's the final installment, what you were waiting for. All right. Thanks for watching.